All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, it's time for our little Turbo Graphics update. It is. We got our Turbo Graphics probably about two months ago. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. And the community on whole was really excited for us. And oh yeah. We really appreciate Fantastic. all the great feedback you guys gave. You, I, you, they just wanted to help us. Yeah. Help us discover this brand new to us. So. Piece of equipment in our game. We're gonna show you what we picked up for it. And then we're gonna ask you for some more help. Yeah, help please. <laughs> First, I was able to pick up the Turbo Tap. Picked it up at a local, it's not really a pawn shop, so to speak, kind of. Like, yes, a pawn shop, but mostly game store. They yeah. do have it's some music and... Nerdful things. Yes. Just sitting on the shelf like this, and I didn't even know it. I got up close and I looked, because it's on the other side of the counter, and I was like, is that it? Is that a turbo tap? Is that for Turbo Graphics? Yeah, and, and I then knew she it. She had to look it up on their phones to make sure. But I knew it because I had been looking at the uh, turbo bo booster and the turbo tap. So as soon okay. as I saw it, I was like, oh my god, yes. And then when I saw a neck uh, on it, I was like, yeah, yeah, that's a turbo tap. That's a turbo tap. Next thing we're going to show you is a boo boo. Yeah. Jen's boo boo. Jen's I asked boo -boo. Jen if she could get me some extension cables for my controller. Yeah, the one controller we have. The one controller we have. Now, she ordered these, and I think they're for the Mini. I'm not 100% sure. Or the PC sure. Engine. Because here's how it was listed, guys. PC Engine, TurboGrafx-16, yada, yada, yada. Not knowing anything about the PC the Engine. The yada, yada, yada in the description alone should have just... <laughs> I right. don't know a whole lot about TurboGrafx-16 or PC Engine. This is what the original line should look like, and this is what the one. Yeah, they're a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah. So these we were not able to return. Um, basically, a waste of time and money. If <coughs> anybody else out there needs them, hit me up. Maybe I can send them to you. And the uh, the third thing we picked up, which is the highlight of this video, I'll just say. Yeah, we got ourselves an EverDrive for it. We did, and we ended up ordering from AliExpress. I know there's other means to get the EverDrive. And when we got our Nintendo EverDrive, we did go through, and I can't remember the name of the place, so I'll pop it up right now. More expensive, but a more, I guess, legitimate, safe way to buy it. With AliExpress, I don't think it's unfair to say sometimes you're taking a little bit of a risk. I haven't buying. had to deal with them, but. I ha I've bought a few things from AliExpress, and everything I've bought, I've had success with. But in saying that, do your research, right? And on you everything. You should for everything. Everything. So, it looks like that. Yes. In comparison to the only game that we have, you know, I, you know, the shape is going to be pretty much identical. Really. Yeah. Because it has to fit in a certain slot. Now that we, does come with a couple stickers you can put on it. One that says Turbo, and the other one that says Turbo. So if you want to fancy maybe. it up. What we did not know when we purchased it was, it's all preloaded with my backups. They didn't even know I had. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, guys! So that was a bit of a party bonus, because it made it really easy to Super. set it up. Well, yeah, I went to load my backups on there, and Jim was like, what are all these files? Yeah. I'm like, well, I think those There's are only games. backups, clearly. They <laughs> knew. I guess the big thing to tell you guys is that this can be used for PC Engine or TurboGrafx-16, but yep. you need to switch it. There's a little switch. There's a little switch. Tiny little switch in the front. We'll take pictures yeah. so you guys can see up close. It's just a switch toggle back and forth, and, it'll, and it's written very small. And it's TG-16 or PCE. PCE. So. I had it on PCE at first and was not getting anything but like kind of a like bluish green screen. Oh yeah. And you told me to switch it over. Exactly. There is a big price difference. Big price difference really? if you're going to buy on AliExpress versus a more legitimate method of buying it. You're looking at like we paid $46 shipped to us for this and it would have been well over 100 to buy from the other company. But yeah, that was a big difference there. Oh yeah. The other big difference I thought initially would be shipping time because this is coming from AliExpress, it's coming from China. I actually got it in two weeks. I'm surprised at how solid and how much weight there is to it. Yeah. Um, I'll be curious. I don't think this is something you want to be pulling in and out of the machine, but if you have all your backups on it already. You just leave it in there. You just leave it in you there, just right? Leave it in. 
I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go pop it in the machine, get a little bit of game capture. The only game we have that we can compare it to is Keith Courage. What we want to do for you guys is a bit of a side-by-side -side blind test to show you the two and give you a little bit of game capture on it and see if you can tell the difference. I don't know if there will be a difference I don't all. think there will be. In experience with our uh, NES EverDrive, we couldn't see any difference, so I'll be curious to I'm, see if we can see it here. I'm more worried about the preloaded ROMs than I am it looking different in the machine. True. Because if you get some of these Chinese knockoff handhelds with ROMs loaded on them, you're not get quite getting the game that you want. Yeah. There's a lot of some homebrews and stuff like that. That's true. So let's go throw it in the machine and see what we got. Sounds good. So here we have a side-by-side -side comparison of the Turbo Graphics EverDrive and then our original cart of Keith Courage. While well, neither one of us noticed the difference, if you're viewing it right now and you do, it might be because I didn't focus that great on the first screen. That's my fault. In saying that, if you take the blur of the screen out, there really is no difference in the two. Now, we did try other games and we're going to show you guys those as well. We did have some issues with files loading, but can you guess which one is the authentic cart and which one isn't? I'll give you a second to have a look and try to decide. Oh, what? So, did you guess correctly? If so, congratulations. If not, don't worry too much about it. I didn't either. I didn't even know that the EverDrive was loaded into the TurboGrafx-16 until Scott told me that's what I was playing. So moving on from that, we also tried four other games. Scott tried R-Type. He's a big shooter guy. He enjoys them a lot. And I know R-Type is a big game on the TurboGrafx-16. So I could see us playing a lot more of that. They have a big cult following for sure. Box Adventure was one I could see myself playing, and I really nice. enjoyed the Very time I put into it as well. So we're probably going like to have game. to give that some more time. I I think it could be a game oh, I I, I would like to try and complete. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby! I love onions and peppers and carrots. I'm sure I, can go back. I know, right? We also played Sidearm again, another shooter. Mm -hmm. Scott loved that one as well, and he said the difficulty ramped up a little bit, which, you know, hey, those are shooters. Oh! 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 oh. And then the last game we tried was Street Fighter, and the two buttons just didn't work with this game. It's it's unplayable. Oh, you can't. It's on there, but you can't play it. The controller, there's no fucking, there's two buttons. Uh, so yeah, that was a little bit of gameplay. Uh, did notal notice a couple loading issues. Yeah, I had one with- um, Devil's yeah, Crush That one didn't load. I uh, ran into a box. Uh, Adventure, Adventure that didn't load, that but there's loaded, multiple. loaded, but it was really scrambled. It was fucked up. Yeah, but there was multiple yeah. ROMs on that's, under each one. That's the thing that I want to ask you guys your opinions on this. Do Would I be better off to just take those files all off there? I think we can. And put on. And just load my own? Or do you think I'll run into issues? Um, I don't know. I can't say for sure. But when I was when we were playing Bonks, I thought maybe the color was the color a little was off. A bit off. Maybe yeah. it was a little on the red side. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't see the difference um, between both Keith Courage's. Keith Courage looked the exact same. Played yeah. the exact same, from what I can tell. But like like I said, with any Chinese knockoff you get there, like you're getting questionable wrongs yeah. in there. At Stone Age Gamer and Chris, I looked them up uh, while we were doing this or while we were recording some gameplay. Uh, it's about double the price for me to get that. Yeah. Um, don't think they're safe states on either one. Okay, that that would been that would have been good to that have. That would have been nice. Um, yeah. But I don't think there's any games on there that really acquire you to sit there for like hours on hours end. on end. I yeah. think you, they're like very arcadey. Beat in there and. Well, I worry about the hard hours. games that you have to really put time into mastering in order to complete them. Well, That's when a save like, state would become kind of beneficial well, to me, right? 
Yes, yeah, say like on level six is like like your adventure island. You get to a you get to a point where it's like it's so hard, and then you die yeah. out, and then it takes you so long to get there again. That would help. In that would have been in that nice aspect of it there. Yeah, but like I said, I don't have a whole lot of experience when it comes to turbo graphics. We only got it a couple months ago, and I'm really just starting to play it now because we just got our EverDrive. I'm excited to play more games on it for sure. I am really excited to explore the library. Yes. Because there was a couple of shooters. Type is fun. I know our our type, but there's oh, another but one. Oh, but one of the other ones you were playing, we'll pop that. Yeah, up. I can't remember what the name is now. I but you played a little cool. bit of Splatterhouse as well. Yes, I played Splatterhouse the other day. It was took a cool. picture of that and popped it yeah, on Instagram. Because I love Twitter, Splatterhouse. I if you worth, guys, worth the $46. Definitely worth the $46. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if I can take advantage of the little hardware and just get rid of the ROMs that are on there or put my own on. Mm -hmm. um, also, if you guys know where I can get some extension cables and a controller, would be fantastic. Yeah, let us um, know in the comments below. Because right now... I have to be like right up on top of my TV yeah. and uh, that's not sitting fun. on a little stool and that's not for an that's old, <laughs> old man can't game for two no, that's, hours that's sitting a, on a floor or That's a, stool. a 10 year old's game. Yeah. Alright guys, let us know what you think in the comments below. Uh, let us know where we can get some of this stuff and uh, until yeah. next time, game on! Game on. on.